You gotta admit that in life, we all make mistakes. Well, my name is Eileen Smith, and in this video, you're gonna learn from my mistakes. I made a mistake during a screen casting video, and this is my mea culpa. Yes, we're talking about screen casting from your desktop. And in this video, I want to show you how to make sure you choose the right screen to share when you're on Facebook live or YouTube live. So let's get right to it. So let's start. So let's start with Facebook. You see that I am already in the window to start the live video. So let me just minimize this for a second and show you what I have going on in the background. I am going to pretend that I'm doing a demo of the Spreaker console. So that's the software you see here in the background. Okay, so now let's look at the choices that Facebook gives us to share. You can share my, your, you can share your entire desktop, which means you're going to share everything that's on this screen. Everything that you can see visually, people who are watching your live video will be able to see. You probably don't want to do that. Now, you also could just share a tab in Chrome and it's giving you a choice of which tab you want to share. I also had a Google Drive document open. I hadn't shown you that earlier, but let's pretend we're going to share that screen. So that's what your audience is going to see after you start the live broadcast. But let's go back because that's not what I want to share. Okay, now the other choice that you have is the application window. Remember I showed you the Spreaker application. That's an application that's on my computer. So also you can think of if you were doing a Photoshop tutorial or if you were doing a tutorial about how to use Skype, you would use the application window. Notice how now I'm sharing the Spreaker console. These are the choices that you have. Now let's go over to YouTube. Now in this YouTube demo, I will show you how to screen share from a YouTube event, which used to be called Hangouts on Air. So from the events console, you're going to see the green arrow. That's the screen share option on YouTube. Once again, we have a similar dialog box that we get to choose. Are we going to share our entire screen or application window? So you're going to choose application window. Now, in this case, you see the tabs, each tab broken out. Now I closed down the Spreaker console this time. I thought you may want to see what it's like to share a PDF in case you're doing a webinar, some type of presentation. So one of these options, and I'm going to go over all of them. So excuse me while I put on my glasses. <laughs> the first tab is just a selection that shows all the available tabs. The next tab would be the one that you're going to see all that tunneling. You definitely don't want to use that because that's actually the tab that I'm recording in. So you don't want to show that because if you do, you'll end up with this. Because remember, I want you to learn from my mistakes. Then the next one, that is the Chrome browser where I actually have this video, even though I'm not going to start the video, but I'm on the video watch page. So if I was going to start the video, I could monitor the comments over in the chat from this page, but we're not going to actually start. Just want you to see the options, but what we're going to choose in this case is to share the presentation. So now you see that you could go through your presentation and however you want to navigate through that presentation, depending upon 
what software you're using. This just so happens to be PDF, and I have the layout such that it just scrolls through page by page. When you're ready to stop the screen share, you just click the stop. Now, you didn't have that option on Facebook. When you're on Facebook, you're either screen sharing or you're not. So you're either showing your webcam like I am now or your screen share. But on YouTube, you do have the option and most other software platforms. In fact, by the time you're watching this, which I hope could be a year or two from now, Facebook will have fixed that. <laughs> but right now, as of October 2017, you either screen share or you share your webcam. And so hopefully that has helped you at least with Facebook and with YouTube. You may see other options on other platforms, but these are the two that I think you want to get started with. If you have any questions, you can always leave a voicemail for me on my SpeakPipe page, and that's EileenSmith.com slash contact. EileenSmith.com slash contact. And if you want to join us over on Patreon, head over to the Patreon page. The link will be in the description. And happy screencasting. Bye for now.